Hello everyone and welcome to EVE Talk, your weekly look at the EVE Online markets. As always, I'm your host, The Lone Wolf. Um, and uh, I might sound a little bit tired because I bought XCOM when it was on sale uh, on Steam. And uh, it's a very addictive game, I have to say. In the first day I played it for 9 hours. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty rough. You always want to go for that next mission or uh, get your next satellite up or whatever. And uh, it's a lot of fun so far. Uh, videos will come a bit later, I think, because I uh, still need to wrap my head around some of, the, some of the mechanics of the game and how best to get started. Anyways, let's uh, get on with our market talk. Uh, quick bar, as always, I'll start off with the minerals, tritanium and the likes. Let's see if that rise from last week keep, uh, has been continuing. 6.13 sellers also although that's one seller they're, they're quite spread out look at jesus so many sell orders 624 and for the buyers 612 so yeah that would that that this sell order at 613 is probably gonna get picked up very soon and uh, that chart well doesn't really show a lot because once again there is a seriously corrupted data point so maybe we'll get a better look at pyrite what does that say uh, on Tritanium I would say it hasn't moved a lot and once again, Jesus, so many orders. 13.17 and 13.16 uh, for the buyers, zero margin again. And price history, well, still up a little. You can see that uh, that uptrend, although it's very slow, um, this is a three month chart. Uh, it's, it's there though, a slight uptrend in minerals. Uh, at least for pyrite, uh, we can see it. Yeah, Mexalon, that's always difficult to see. Let's let's have a quick look at the prices. 62, 61.45. I don't think that's actually up from last week. So Me Mexalon is is stable. And let's have a look at the last um, high sec one, Isogen. Well, I think actually um, there's another one. Noxium is also high sec, which is also on the uptrend, and same for Isogen. Um, although this this uh, chart doesn't seem to show it rise that much, that's because there is actually 50 is difference here uh, between two uh, <coughs> two two of these bars. So uh, 157 for the sellers for Isogen, 155. Yeah, most of the minerals do seem to know a, a slow uptrend. Pretty interesting. So let's quickly jump over to the Drake and see if it translates here as well. Yep, Drake's still going up on the chart as well. Let's have a look at prices. 51 and a half million. I think it was uh, 51 or 50 and a half last, uh, last week. So yep, Drake also going up. 49 for the buyers, two and a half million margin. That's almost nothing again. So uh, this does seem to to be a general trend even the omen here knows a slight uptrend um, in minerals and take one ships because of that so <coughs> let's go over to uh, one of the requests i got i think it was last week maybe two weeks ago the rock oh. let's see ships rock oh it's kh um Let's see, so someone requested uh, to look at the rock, uh, the 425mm railgun tech 2s and the Mega Pulse tech 2s. Not sure exactly why those three items are that important to it, but, but let's have a look uh, at the rock, uh, maybe on the one year chart, just to get an idea in general. Um, higher than it's been in a year, actually, pretty much on the highest point, amazingly enough, for a tech 1. Um, Tick one Kaldari ship that's pretty surprising that it's known a general uptrend and right now I would say it's looking pretty stable in the last few weeks 240 million in Jita for the sellers 227 for the buyers that's still a 13 million isk uh, margin which is not bad not great either but uh, yeah there might be a little bit of money in rock trading actually uh, what was the other one 425 let's see if i can find that equipment 425 rail gun tick twos that does make sense for the rock though um yeah typical tick two markets uh, a lot of variations a lot of ups and downs but if you look on general on the one year chart decently stable around what is it 5 million 
current price 4.7 4.5 pretty much average I would say I mean it's been lower for a while and then it's been higher for a while here as well um, so yeah this is typical take two market let's have a quick look if, if the mega pulse uh, is the same mega pulse laser take two yeah there you go again that chart typical of, of uh, take two markets up swings down swings a lot of movement but it still seems to be holding mostly in the 3 million to 4.5 million, around 4 million I would say, general uh, price. And the current price is 4.6 million for the sellers, 4 million for the buyers. Mm, a bit higher than what it's on average, um, but yeah, this is to be expected in the Take 2 market. Just look at those charts, they all look pretty much the same with a lot of variations. Very good for trading. Uh, at the moment, not uh, in my opinion a time to buy either the Mega Pulse or the 425mm railguns. Um, but these are markets to keep an eye out for sure. If, if you'd been able to buy right here below 350 or here below 4 million, you would be looking at a decent profit uh, on every Mega Pulse laser 2 you'd have bought at that time. So, yeah, for traders, once again, uh, this confirms that the Tech 2 market is pretty damn important. And uh, let's go back to the quick bar. So those were uh, some um, some requests from last week or two weeks ago. I'm not sure. I'll go for my own interest to the Talos. Uh, slightly up again. Um, but still holding above 80 million, which is very good for me. Yep, 85 for a, a, a seller that's really been undercutting most of the 86.2. Uh, sell orders right there with 13 so he really wants to sell them for 85 and 80 million for the buyers not a lot of margin still around five six million which is decent but not great um, let's see if the rest of the tick two markets with the guardian if that's changed a lot uh, the three months chart is probably going to be a bit more interesting still those those heavy movements a uh, slight downtrend now for the guardian um, 123 for a big sell order right here when it's 18 for the buyer so still not a lot of margin but you can see uh, sell orders 125 128 starting to creep up which would put the margin back to 10 million so I would wait a while I think I think uh, that uh, we might see an upswing right here in the price again pretty soon uh, at which point uh, the Guardian might become trade worthy again if those sell orders at 128 come back into play and if you look at the five day moving average, it's quite a sharp drop. So I wouldn't be surprised if we'd see uh, uh, an upswing soon in the Guardian. Uh, picking a few up might be a good idea actually, if you're a trader, in my opinion. Uh, so quick look at the Tango again, which probably, yeah, it's continuing its downward trend, although it's, it's slowing down. 185 is gonna be that bottom in my opinion. 185, 500 current sellers. 181 current buyers so that's 4 million margin uh, that's not a lot anymore um, I definitely think that uh, 185 is going to be the bottom for the Tengu if we see a war in 00, zero and couple lost Tengu fleets this might be a decent investment um, if you can fly and use the Tengu I would say this is the time to stock up on one or two of them so that's take three markets um, Take one, take two, take three. We've had all of those. Uh, let's see what's next. I'll go for technetium next. Still, uh, pretty much the same as the as the Tango chart actually. Also, still going down below eighty thousand, but slowing down in its descent. Uh, let's see if that margin is, is low as well. Just below eighty thousand for the sellers. Seventy six, seven hundred. Uh, for the buyer, so no margin. This does look like a confirmed market price. Uh, Technetium, well, like I, like I've said uh, in the previous week, it's it's one to keep an eye out uh, for uh, changes in either uh, zero zero war or in changes in in the alchemical process done by CCP, which could seriously influ influence the price. Uh, but uh, that's mostly zero zero people that are in the know of this market. I don't know it that well myself and I really don't know what to expect. Uh, but those are my two main theories. Uh, one from, from a viewer that uh, suggested it and is absolutely right. If they change the alchemical 
receipts uh, this could seriously uh, put a down pressure on the price and uh, if we get a big war and some people lose control of a few moons we could get a, a serious uh, uh, actually an uptick in my opinion um, but overall yeah looking at uh, the last what would that be six months maybe price went from 200,000 to below 80,000 so I don't really see why CCP would would decide to decrease the cost of producing technetium even more uh, it's pretty obvious as well that that their uh, decision to make it an alchemical process so you can make technetium from other sources breaking that monopoly uh, has had a really big influence on the price dropping it down basically to production uh, price there's a lot of players that are willing to jump on such opportunities to get into this market as well uh, and uh, yeah that's this has been the result uh, technetium has never been lower than it's now so personally i wouldn't expect it to go lower but you never know what ccp will do um, maybe the Millstrom just to get another general feel of the market uh, we can see an upswing uh, probably more pronounced on the three month charts yep and sell orders well there's not a lot left anymore to be honest so hmm, buy orders to 11 to 24 it's difficult to say um, what's going on here is somebody trying to manipulate the market a little bit it's a possibility someone buying up all the millstroms in preparation for zero zero fleets that's a possibility as well um anyways that's that's pretty rare to see a take one ship um with so few sell orders in jita um if you know more you might be able to make a nice penny out of it although well if you produce millstroms maybe yep and you can bring them to the market here that would be a good opportunity in my opinion uh, it just shows that for everyone it can be very important to keep an eye on the market as opportunities like this i mean you'll probably be able to to sell your your millstroms for 220 easy uh, which is this very high data point if you put if you manage to put them up there for 220 you'll probably sell them which is a very high price for the millstrom so an opportunity for industrialists um, if you keep an eye on the market i think it's it's very interesting how all of this stuff works in eve online let me quickly go over everything in here galente fuel blocks probably still down yeah 13.5 thousand is the current price one year chart probably not going to be pretty for people that are producing it yeah it's at pretty much an all-time low so this is the time to produce them and to stock up on them waiting for more changes and um i think i've had pretty much everything yeah i had technetium at rock for 20 uh 425 millimeter railguns and the mega boss those were all the requests so i'll move up on to the plex which is an indication of the general um economy in eve online uh in my opinion uh it i can see an, an uptrend uh at the at the end here uh, even on the the 20 day moving average it's a bit visible so it's it's slowly moving towards 600 uh, 600 million i should say let's have a quick look 590 pretty much uh, for the sellers 576 for the buyers it's still a normal margin 13 14 million is, is a normal margin for uh, for plex for uh, such a for a 600 million isk item so it still looks to me like normal uh, market prices set by supply and demand but it is uh, generally going up slowly so this could be an indication that um, activity in EVE Online in the game is starting to pick up uh, slowly in preparation of the expansion of course uh, which uh, we're all eagerly awaiting and what's the date actually the 24th so yeah that's a bit over a week and and will will be in retribution so um yeah prices slowly going up nothing like what it was uh, last year with those big spikes and then we would expect a serious downtrend in the next week i think it's going to be a lot less pronounced if it does happen because uh, we basically had our big spike right here uh, at the beginning of october already and i don't think we'll see uh, as pronounced uh, a correction as last year um, once again i'll reiterate that in my opinion 550 million will be the next bottom um, if plex ever get to that price again which i'm not completely sure they ever will uh, that 
is definitely a time in my opinion to pick something up uh, whether to try and make some money long term or just protect your risk from inflation uh, i think at 550 million it's going to be the new bottom uh, in my opinion and there's really nothing uh, us players can do about it at the moment unless of course ccp decides to intervene but it's a bit too stable at the moment for CCP to all of a sudden decide to, that there's a real problem in my opinion. So yep, there you go guys, uh, a quick look at the EVE Online markets. If you have any, uh, any other requests of items that I should check out, uh, leave them in the comments, I will try and do them. And I will see you all next time.